Hey friends, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's clean and tidy up with me. We are gonna be cleaning and tidying up through the house and we are also gonna be organizing a bunch of toys today, cleaning up a ton of messes because this house is a complete disaster. I hope that you guys enjoy this video and I hope that it gives you tons of cleaning inspiration and motivation. Give this video a thumbs up if you love cleaning motivational videos and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if cleaning videos are your jam because I've got a ton of them over here on my channel. Today we have a ton of stuff to do, so let's just hop right into it and get it started. Today we are going to be starting this video downstairs. This is the easier area of the house that needs to be cleaned up. So we are gonna get this back in order, get it looking all nice. We were very lazy over the holiday weekend that we just had, so we are gonna take care of this house and get it picked up. I'm gonna start by picking up all of the toys on the ground and then we are gonna reorganize the autumn in there. It's also a toy box where we have all of the kids' toys downstairs. So we're gonna reorganize that and just straighten up the living room, vacuum up the couch, lint roll the pillows and get this place looking good. going to be putting away some toys that belong in this cabinet that we have here. We got this cabinet from Ikea and I absolutely love it. It was super affordable and it gave our living room such a clean, sleek look and it's a perfect place to conceal toys or anything else like these diapers that I am going to reorganize and straighten up so that they look a little bit better even though nobody really sees them. We're still going to straighten them up because I just feel like it makes the room look so much better when the cabinet does get opened. So I'm also going to be using the Method Pink Grapefruit Spray, which I am almost out of, to clean up this cabinet. It works really well on here and it leaves the living room with a nice fresh scent. I'm going to be using this spray a lot in this video, so you will see me holding this bottle and using up the rest of this. As I was picking up the living room and starting to put stuff away in the ottoman, I noticed that it was extremely disorganized. So we are gonna get that all picked up today and we are going to reorganize it. Usually each cubby has a specific item to it, such as cars in one, books and puzzles in one, and then dress up stuff and doll stuff in another. And today everything is just kind of slammed in there and packed in there in whatever cubby they could find a place for, which is totally fine because they've been picking up on their own, which is so nice. But today we are gonna get it back to being organized. I'm gonna put all the car stuff in one, all the dolls and dress up stuff in another. We're gonna have books in one and we are going to have puzzles and stuff like that in the other one. So we're just gonna get everything organized. I'm going to vacuum it out, get all of the crumbs out of there because as you saw earlier, there were just Cheez-Its exploded all over my living room. So we're gonna get that all cleaned up as well. And I just wanted to take a moment to introduce myself if this is your first time here. My name is Bronte. I am a stay-at-home mom of two. I have a two-year-old and a five-year-old, and I am a married mama who lives in Las Vegas. So come and introduce yourself if this is your first time here. Come and say hi in the comments. I would love to get to know you guys better. You don't know me, I just need my time. Yeah. But they say I
absolutely love this ottoman that we have because not only does it serve um, multiple purposes, being a place to store toys, but we have these trays on there that you can flip over to have a soft cushy spot for your feet or you use the tray to set a drink or whatever down on it. I will have something similar linked down below. I have not been able to find this exact ottoman, but I have been able to find one similar to it with just two large cubby spaces versus the four cubes like I have. But this thing is great. It is not real leather, so it is super easy to clean up. I'm just using that Method Pink Grapefruit spray on it. And I have used so many different cleaners on it and it has just held up so, so well. And we all love that, especially if you've got kids, you know you need furniture that holds up pretty well. The little corners on the trays are kind of tattered, but it is super old, so it's fine. It's held up really well. I'm going to straighten up the couch now, and I am going to vacuum the top part of the couch. I am not going to take the cushions off today and vacuum underneath them. I was kind of on a time crunch, and I had a bunch of stuff that I needed to get done for the day. As you guys will see, we have to tackle the upstairs because it desperately needs it. So we're gonna vacuum the top of the cushions and then we are going to lint roll the pillows and just get everything straightened up on this couch before vacuuming up the living room. And today I am using my Shark Rocket vacuum which is always linked in my Amazon favorites in the description box. It is time to clean up this hot mess of an upstairs. We're gonna clean up the loft slash play area. We are gonna clean up both of the kids' bedrooms because they desperately need it. There's just toys and random stuff all over the place. Like I said in the very beginning of the video, we are very lazy over the holiday weekend. Well, as far as cleaning goes, I did get a ton of stuff done in the kitchen for the kitchen makeover, but I neglected cleaning up the house. So we are gonna get that done today. We're gonna pick up all of the messes because it's just cluttered everywhere. It's just a mess. So let's get to cleaning and get it done. Out of ourselves, can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real cause when we're doing our thing, we're the wheels that won't stop turning. So take me on a trip, 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 nah, trip, trip, trip. Oh, flick the switch, kill the lights. Oh, I wasted City lights are shining so bright All these empty faces We don't care about them tonight We're going out of ourselves, can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real Cause when we're doing our thing with the wheels Don't stop turning I know we're acting stupid sheet washing day for both of the kids so I'm going to strip their beds and then we are going to move on to cleaning up my son's room. It has got to get cleaned up. We have a lot of work to do. We have to reorganize the books. We got to pick up all of the Legos. We got to pick up all of the stuffed animals, clean up the closet, put some laundry away, vacuum up the room, 
we're doing all the things in here today. So we are gonna start by picking up all of the stuffed animals because those are the bulkiest things on the floor. We're gonna organize the books and then we are gonna move on to cleaning up the rest of the room. On the ocean now, nothing but waves in this filling in. I wanna dry up, but you just keep on going, don't you? I don't even know how we got here. Legos are the worst. Do you guys agree with me? They are such a pain to pick up. They're super cool and super fun when you're playing with them, but when it comes time to pick them up or when it comes time that you step on them, not so fun. Tegan's tables in his room have little Lego trays built onto them. So that is where I store the Legos. So we got those all picked up. And now we are going to move on to getting some of his laundry put away that has been sitting out for a while. So we are gonna put that away and then we are going to straighten up the closet as soon as that laundry gets put away. We can still go back there to a place with no cares. We can turn this ship around. We can turn My son is five and he likes to help with dressing himself or he likes to pick out his own clothes. So in an effort to make it a little bit easier for him, I try to keep his clothes color coordinated and also organized by sleeve length so that if he needs a long sleeve shirt, it's easier for him to find a long sleeve shirt. And I also try to keep the short sleeve shirts color coordinated so if he wants a blue shirt, he can find his blue shirts easy. We're also gonna pick up everything in this closet right now. Luckily, it is not too much of a mess. There's just random stuff all over the floor that does not belong on the floor, such as these puzzles. So we're gonna get all those pieces put back together, put it away, and then we are also gonna pick up all of the little toys on the floor so I can get this closet vacuumed. Let us fade away. It's not a price I wanna pay, and it's not too late. No, we lost our purpose, chasing all that surplus. My daughter's room is a complete disaster. It is such a hot mess right now. I haven't cleaned it in a really long time. Usually when I'm doing my cleaning, it's during her nap time, but she woke up in the middle of cleaning, so I was able to clean her room and tackle that today. I'm gonna start by stripping the sheets off of her bed, and then we are just going to get everything organized again and picked up because there's a bunch of stuffed animals on the floor, there's toys on the floor, there's laundry that needs to be put in the laundry basket, washed or put away, and we are gonna take care of all of that today. I am also going to make the twin bed in here. She does not sleep in the twin bed yet. We tried, she's terrified of it. So we are just not pushing that, but she has a bed in here. So I'm just gonna get that put together so it looks a little more cleaned up in here. And then we are also gonna pick up all of her baby dolls and all of the toys in her room. No, we lost our purpose, chasing all that surplus. You were all that I need. I feel the weak.
before we got lost and we parted Back to back we would carry on and We'd do anything for what we started But this time we could break Now that everything has been picked up, it is time to vacuum. I did end up vacuuming all of the upstairs, but today I am only going to show you my son's bedroom because I forgot to hit record on my camera. I am really good at doing that lately. I have been forgetting to hit record and then not getting any of the footage that I want to get. So today we're going to clean up my son's bedroom. We're going to vacuum this up. And I am using that Shark Rocket vacuum that I was talking about earlier. It is the best vacuum ever look at those carpet lines you guys i love having carpet lines does anybody else just love them so much it's so satisfying to see them it just makes me feel so much better when there are a ton of nice carpet lines on the carpet on the stairs everywhere so i hope that you guys have enjoyed this clean with me clean and tidy up with me and i hope that it has given you tons of cleaning motivation and inspiration to tackle some stuff on your to-do list I know that we all need motivation sometimes, so I hope that this was that for you. Thank you guys so much for being here, and thank you so much for watching and spending time out of your busy days with me. It really means the world to me to have you all here, so if this is your first time on my channel watching one of my videos, please hit that subscribe button down below. I would love to have you stick around and join me over here on my YouTube family. I upload two times a week, typically on Wednesday morning and on Saturday morning, Pacific Standard Time, Las Vegas time, West Coast time here in the United States. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this. I hope it's given you motivation. Thank you again for watching. And if you are in need of more cleaning motivation, click on one of these videos up here on the screen. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give this video a huge thumbs up. Come say hi in the comments. Thank you guys again and have an amazing day.